it's now my honor and privilege to introduce our governor, Steve Bullock. Governor Bullock was born and raised in Montana. As our Attorney General and now our Governor, he works every day to make Montana stronger for future generations, ensuring that his own three kids and all young Montanans are able to enjoy the opportunities afforded to all of us. He is committed to ensuring that Montana remains the best state in the nation to live, work, develop businesses, and raise a family. He believes public education is the great equalizer and the state has made historic investments in education under his tenure. He is a strong advocate of keeping Montana's public lands in public hands and fought to preserve access to our streams and rivers. He has made renewable energy and energy efficiencies key components to building Montana's future economy through his energy plan that he unveiled this summer. His plan calls for creating a new generation of clean technology businesses, moving us towards more renewable energy and encouraging innovation, savings, and energy efficiency for homes and businesses. With his leadership on these fronts, it is entirely fitting that Governor Bullock is with us today to share in this historic moment unveiling one of the largest solar energy projects in southwest Montana. Help me welcome our governor. Thanks so much, Kathy. It is indeed an honor uh, to be here to both reflect upon and think about the last 40 years and then also think about what the next decades will hold and in doing so also help create what those next decades will hold in cutting the ribbon for this project. And uh, John Walsh, I did think back to going into fourth grade. And <laughs> I was afraid what Mrs. Mandeville might do once I entered. But candidly and anchoring it that way, because as we gather, it really isn't just reflecting back. It's seeing these young kids and saying, what sort of future are we going to all help craft for them in this state and indeed in this nation and this world. And I, I really count myself as one of those uh, among many Montanans that are so lucky to live here. We're fortunate. We have a quality of life that's second to none. We have our clean air, our clean water. We have our abundant wildlife, the grains and the livestock that we grow, our open lands and all the opportunities and jobs that rely on those as well. As the future of Montana's energy development shifts literally underneath our feet, we must also be working together to tap the full potential with organizations like NCAT leading the way. And that can help us move forward as we prepare for an energy future that helps drive economic growth and good paying jobs. So indeed, not just looking backwards, but looking to the future and recognizing the role that NCAT can play in it. And we need to look at what the next 40 years, four decades and more will provide. We can continue to fuel the region and the state. We can continue to provide economic opportunity through new technologies that allow us to generate energy from fossil fuels with less pollutions by investing more in our renewable energies, encouraging greater innovation, encouraging greater energy efficiency and conservation. The National Center for Appropriate Technology has been a leader in energy efficiency and renewable energy initiatives over this past 40 years. I count on them to be a leader over the next four decades. I certainly join the center and all of you in celebrating, thanking Everybody has had a role over this past four decades that has served literally hundreds of thousands of people over the years. I think the solar project is both a tip of the hat to the rich history, but also a bridge to the future that we'll all get to celebrate. And I also so look forward to seeing more projects like this dotting the landscapes of Montana, putting more people to work, shaping our energy future, with local made in Montana solutions. Again, thank you for letting me be a part of this today. For sure.
governor. <laughs> we wanted to give you something so you wouldn't forget about us. <laughs> so our, what we have here is produce from our urban farm that we used oh, to yeah. demonstrate uh, high altitude, cold climate uh, farming. So we hope you and your family can enjoy these fresh vegetables. That is absolutely beautiful. <laughs>